In with what we are learning about the victims in that dive boat fire off of the coast of Southern California. Thanks for joining us this noon. I'm Dina Kupfer. Here is the very latest from Monday's deadly fire that killed 34 people on board the Conception. Authorities did recover the bodies of 33 of those victims, but one person is still missing. The NTSB is investigating what started that fire. All of those who died were sleeping below deck when the boat caught fire, and that happened around 3.30 Monday morning. That includes one family from Stockton. CBS 13's Meg Oliver reports. You don't want to believe it. You want to hold on to that 1%, but at this point, it's, you know, my heart knows. Dominic Salga says his mother, stepfather, and three stepsisters were among the 34 presumed dead aboard the dive boat Conception. It burst into flames and sank off the Santa Barbara coast early Monday morning. People on nearby boats described it as pure horror to yeah. watch helplessly watching those flames. Yeah. They were down there in those bunks. They're really small bunks. To have no escape, it was something that was just playing in my head. It was just a complete nightmare. On Tuesday, rescuers continued efforts to recover the bodies of those trapped below deck. The FBI visited a sister ship owned by the same tour company with a similar layout as Conception. Never thought I would ever have to go through this. Sherry McDonough says her 25 year old daughter was on board. She was just following her dreams. She loved it here and she loved the boat. She loved diving. Bonjour. Also among the passengers, experienced diver Christy Finstad. The 41 year old was on the ship to lead a scuba tour. The boat's wreckage now rests upside down on the ocean floor. Divers will also map a search area, which is about a half mile in size, in our continuing efforts to recover additional victims and evidence. Meanwhile, family members are being asked to provide DNA to help identify the victims. There was an extraordinarily hot fire and the bodies do exhibit signs of, uh, of, of extreme thermal damage. For Selga, he just wants answers for his mother. If there was one thing that you could say to your mom, what would it be? If there was one thing I could say to my mom, I, I love you and That's it. Ah, just heartbreaking. Now, the Quidisaw family was on that dive trip to celebrate their dad Michael's birthday. We're also learning more about the other divers on board that boat. Father daughter pair Scott and Kendra Chan were among those killed. Kendra was a biologist for the U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service. Her dad was a physics teacher at American High School in Fremont. Diving was a passion the father and daughter shared together. I grew up scuba diving here in the Channel Islands. I would go with my dad um, every year, and I love it. Uh, I grew up really fortunate to have parents that were both majored in science. One of the videos put out there by the daughter. Now, as we mentioned, the Quintazal family from Stockton was also on board. Three sisters, their dad and stepmom, Michael and Fernisa Quintazal, were both nurses and uh, that was at uh, hospitals throughout our area and so certainly a lot of people in our area knew a lot of these women and men who passed away and uh, we do know that the surviving sister Christina did post on Facebook this morning saying every year my family would get together and celebrate his birthday in the most amazing way. We would dive the Channel Islands all of us together the people he loved on a boat for one awesome weekend every year we looked forward to this trip. It continues most years my sisters and I would all be in attendance on this trip but some years like this one one of us would be unable to join. This year, I couldn't make the trip. Two other victims were students at a small school in Santa Cruz. Students comforted each other at Pacific Collegiate. This is a school that brought in grief counselors, and at least two parents were also on board. Dive instructor Christy Finstad, as you heard in that story, was also on board. She and her family ran the trip through their company, Worldwide Diving Adventures. They contracted the boat from Truth Aquatics that is based in Santa Barbara.